How to Create a Newsletter with Microsoft Office Publisher 2007. This step-by-step -step tutorial will walk you through the basics of how to create a newsletter with Microsoft Office Publisher 2007. Microsoft Publisher 2007 is an excellent software program for creating custom newsletters. We'll get started in a moment. Step 1. Getting started. To get started, open Microsoft Publisher and scroll down to the Publications Type section to find newsletters. So we've opened Microsoft Publisher 2007 up and we're going to scroll down to the Newsletters section. Here you'll be given a option of the various newsletters that are available. When you have found one that fits the type of newsletter you're looking to create, then just select it and then you'll click the Create button to the right. Okay, how about if we select the modular? template and we'll click the create button and now that newsletter template is available for us to edit customize and personalize to make it our own step two editing the newsletter in each text box you can enter your own information by typing it in or copying it from a Word document and pasting it into your text box. On the main menu, you will find all the tools you need to select the font, font size, and appearance of the text. If you click on the outside of the text box, you can use your mouse to adjust the width and height to fit your page. I will demonstrate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the work size or the view size of this document. I'm going to increase it to 100% so that it's a little bigger and that it, we can see it and we can work with it. If you want to change the text in any text box, just click in that area and you just begin typing. As you can see, if I could type all you do is click in the text box and you make your changes. When you click in the text boxes that are located in the body of the document, it will highlight the entire sample text and then you can just begin typing or you can go to another Word doc or another document that you have text and copy that text and you can just paste it right in. In this case right here we're just going to just start typing our text as if we were typing from scratch. And that's basically all you need to do to add your text or to begin to change it. If you want to resize the text box, you merely just click on the outside. For instance, let's go ahead and let's click on the outside of this text box. And you can drag it to expand it, make it larger. You can make it longer. And that's basically all to it. In the next section or the next step we're going to talk about adding or editing images step three adding or editing images now it's time to add images to your newsletter to add your image click on that image and then click on insert or you can click on that image a second time and you can right click and then you can select a new picture you can choose from existing clip art that is included with the software or you can select an image from your computer. I'll demonstrate. We've got the newsletter out in front of us. We've got an image right here. 
a lot of the instructions will tell you to click on the image, then click on insert, then go down to picture, then click on clip art, select your clip art, and it's inserted. As you can see, that doesn't always work. One of the ways that will that are, that's guaranteed to work and will replace the image that you select is this. Let's reverse this by clicking on the undo button. The best way to do this so that you don't have to delete the old picture and move the new picture around is to click on the picture, the image, then click a second time, then right click, then go to change picture, then click on clip art, select your clip art, and as you can see, the picture is inserted as opposed to just add it. And what you can do then is you can click on this and you can resize this if you choose to do so. So that's how you add clip art. The process would be similar for an image, only you would just select an image from your computer. Okay, now that we've added our image, we'll go ahead and close down the picture editing box. And now we'll save the picture. To save it, we can save a couple of ways. We can click on the save icon, which should be on the toolbar, if you've done the standard installation of Microsoft Publisher. Or you can also select File, and then click the Save icon. We'll do it this way. And we'll call it My publication and we'll click Save. And so we've just saved our newsletter and we have created our first newsletter and there are a couple of things that we can do at this point since we saved it. We can publish it to the web, we can publish it as a PDF and print it. We can also, if we were looking to send it out, we can actually send it out immediately by just selecting send as a public send publication as an attachment, as a PDF, or in a, as an XPS document. We can do any of those, but that's a lesson for a different day. So there you have it. That's how you create a newsletter with Microsoft Office Publisher 2007 in three easy steps. Have a great day.